Hello, welcome to a new video. So, I'm afraid I can't do a premiere like I wanted to because it literally took 25 gigabytes of data. So I'm just going to play it as a sped up. You see here I have already unpacked the motherboard and I'm already applying my DDR5 RAM into that motherboard. Pretty easy, set it in dual channel, I hope. <laughs> Yeah, here we're unpacking the CPU, kind of complicated to unpack. Uh, just apply it in. There we go, just wanted to figure out why it was kind of bent, but apparently that's normal. Then I apply my SSD, it's an M.2, which I screwed down, and then I got curious about that little heatsink thing, and that was a mistake, so I just put it back on. Then I took my heatsink and applied some thermal paste on my CPU because the already existing one wasn't good. I struggled to clip the things together, but yeah, and also tried to peel off the things, the what well, was meant to be peeled off, yeah, whatever. Here we are at the case, which was a pain to unpack because it's ATX form factor meaning it's huge yeah just basically I spent two and a half hours of talking for absolutely no reason <laughs> we see it's pretty empty I mean of course it's empty but <clears throat> yeah uh, I removed the hard drive cages because I don't use hard drives yet. If I want I can just reapply it on. So here is a mistake when I did with the camera which I forgot to uh, move. That's why you can't see but don't worry you'll be able to see relatively soon. Ah, there we go. So this was a mistake that I made and I should have put my power supply first to route the wires in a way that I could do at least a minimum of cable management. Here, after that, it was not possible to do any sort of cable management. I mean, there's no side panel that's visible, so I guess I don't care. Here I'm unpacking my power supply, <laughs> we were just talking of it. Bunch of, it's a fully modular power supply in case you aren't aware. I just compared it to another one, another one. Boom, hello. <clears throat> yeah, it's wiggly. I love these screws and if I also lost a lot of these <clears throat> Sorry I'm a little sick. Um yeah, here I'm basically trying to do cable management, but I was like, yeah, no screw it, I don't care. Um What am I doing then? <laughs> I built this like today. Yeah, again, as I said I tried to make it go through, but I was like, screw it. Spent a long time staring and thinking as well. Some of the included wires for powering, for example, the audio, the power, were kind of short sized. And yeah, that's I think one of the. Also, this was super complicated to plug in because I had no clue, and the motherboard manual and the case manual were not really helpful either because they didn't really show anything. Though I did manage to make it boot instantly. So yeah, here I am uh, plugging in the fans, there I am unboxing the GPU to which I've removed the wrong PCI slot so I had to unplug stuff either, uh, pardon, uh, sorry I didn't use the correct word, I had to unplug the ca some cables which I plugged then right back in. I plugged my PCI G GPU cable, then we're in my bedroom, which is the other room, and I have to take it here because it's the only screen that supports um, HDMI. So here I booted up a different computer, and there is the $1,000 computer, which posted instantly. I'm kind of messing around with the clock because I had no idea what the time was. <laughs> Here I am installing Windows 10 Home. 
It was quick, really. It took around 15 minutes, whereas on average I get installations of Windows 10 22 H2 done in an hour and a half. I had to close the um, window for whatever reason. Then here I clicked no at everything on the OBE, which is the out of box experience. Ah, there I am. We are here on Windows 10. So the problem is there is no drivers and there is no internet. And the thing is, I don't have, I can't have internet unless I have, unless I do something with a DVD. So here I am cleaning my desk and here I bring this PC and another one. <clears throat> this HP computer, which you'll, yeah, perfect. That has a CD drive in it. Pretty easy, popped it off. Just slid it back in at the bottom. That way it doesn't look like complete dog water to stay polite. <laughs> I just slid it back in, then adjusted it. Plugged in the SATA part and put the latch on the power supply that was included. And yeah, there we go. Here you can't really see the computer, but I guess that's fine. We're not interested in too much in the computer. We're interested more in what's happening in the software. Since really the computer hasn't moved since then. So we are downloading the drivers. I'm typing in my password. Yes, it took me ages. <laughs> it, I'm also downloading the Gigabyte Control Center. 